Greetings and welcome to Armored Core Reforged, the series where I take the preset ACs of the game and optimize them to the best of my abilities, preferably making them viable in PvP. The process will consist of me going over the original build, then I will go over the upgraded version and all the thought behind it. And then finally, me and a volunteer will do a final PvP test to see which version of the build is indeed superior. As well as after this video goes up, I will be making a community post where you guys can vote as to which preset will be the next featured on Reforged. But all is said, you have yourself a very good one, and enjoy. Greeting. So, last episode of Reforged, we handled Steel Haze as well as Steel Haze Ortis. Afterwards, I had posted a community post asking which build out of Invincible Rami and Nightfall y'all want to see. And the masses have voted for Nightfall, so here we go. For primary weapons, we have the Assault Rifle Scudder. Uh, with a decent fire rate, it's pretty nice at keeping stagger, whether you're at close or medium range. Uh, damage isn't really there, but yeah, a constant stagger build-up weapon indeed. And for our next primary, obviously the iconic Pile Bunker, indubitably the mainstay of this build's arsenal, much like Steel Haze's uh, Laser Slicer. Super good directed adjustment. Pretty much one tapping most builds if it can hit the charge attack, as well as its normal attack is also really good for initial stagger buildup and overall damage. The only caveat is you do need to be very close to pull it off. For the shoulder mounts, we have the Songbird Grenade Cannon, a double firing grenade cannon that is very, very nice. Um, overall, just a really good stagger punish, as well as just a nice bazooka at range. So considering it fires twice, it comes back decently fast. It's not too, too heavy where it's gonna, you know, change up the whole build. It is a good stagger punish, its splash damage is great, and especially because it shoots double, it uh, can cover a nice wide variety. Super good for barrel stuffing, pretty decent at range, although I wouldn't recommend it. It's very dodgeable at range, in a sense. Um, the travel time isn't very fast, but a good stagger punish and a good um, kind of point blank stagger build up weapon indeed. And lastly, we have the Balaam G103 dual missile launcher. These come off and split, which are split missile launchers are really good in this game. They can, uh, they tend to hit a lot more often, not really in close range though, they're really only a long range missile option, but uh, good offensive option for a decent uh, medium to long range, good way to get some chip damage before you actually close the distance indeed. For the frame parts, nothing specific that uh, gives our build a defining edge. As well as with our current assortment of parts, our defenses are looking pretty alright. With AP at 9000, very survivable, our defenses are looking a little uh, unfortunate. They're just about to 1100, most of them anyway, which is fine, but again, not great. As well as our aptitude stability only being at 1600, not that great, but it is survivable. As well as we are hitting the 310 boost speed threshold, which is about the first speed threshold where you actually see some decent speed. For inner parts, for the booster, we have the P10. An interesting booster, it has max quick boost EN consumption, which means we don't spend as much energy when quick boosting, which means we get more quick boost out of this booster, which is great. Uh, the overall stats are looking a little uh, worse for wear. The assault boost speed and consumption are pretty nice, allowing us to assault boost a lot more often as well as boost itself and, you know, I mean quick boost and I mean dodge. Basically we can dodge and assault boost a lot more often but uh, the other stats are not looking super great. For FCS, the second to best close range FCS, the Albabot. And for generator, Ling Tao. An interesting gen again, uh, really shitty capacity, but really nice recharge and supply recovery. And lastly, expansion of Salt Armor for the mighty trades indeed. And when it comes to the playstyle of the original Raven, it is wise to use the missiles at a decent range, around 200 air, about 130 meters. Continuously fire with the scutter to build up consistent stagger break, as well as use the earshot cannon, or not earshot, while well, songbirds, either as a stagger punish at a range, or an overall stagger build up, say you're too close for the missiles, you can fire these up to get some nice stagger going, and then try to pop it off with missiles and the scutter. Again, being too close is rough, Dodging into the pile bunker is a nice way to land it, as it doesn't really have a lot of natural thrust. Indeed, you don't go very far when you use it naturally. So you always have to kind of dodge into it when doing it, as you'll get some more distance as it carries over the momentum. As well as it can carry the momentum from assault boosting. So if we assault boost and then press the trigger, we slide right into them and go for the pile bunker. Alright, that is the main gist of the original Raven Nightfall. Let's get on to the Reforged. And here we are, Nightfall Reforged. For the primaries, switching out the Scudder for the Linear Rifle Harris. Has slower fire rate, but much more damage, as well as much, much more impact. Its charge attack is also insane at stagger buildup. You can 
fire off a couple shots of these, maybe even land a rocket, and then use the charge attack, and you can more or less guarantee stagger on a lot of builds. For our second primary, keeping the pile bunker as it is the mainstay of this build. For shoulder weapons, I ended up switching the songbird to the majestic bazooka. This is a primary weapon, so you have to shoot it and then switch back to the Harris, but this should add, it doesn't do as much damage, but it can be fired off much more often because it's much faster reload, as well as its damage isn't that different where you'll see too much of a difference. Again, it's lighter and faster, which will allow us to use it much more often, getting much more value out of it. As well as I ended up switching the split missiles for the Javelin Beta. The Javelin Beta is nuts. Since it goes in for pretty much the master flank in terms of the way the projectile goes, it's it can fucking go around objects to get to the enemy. Its tracking is great. Its guidance, rather, is insane. Its stagger buildup on detonation is its real... Uh, key element a stagger is great you land this you can guarantee a charge harris will stagger break as well as if you land this you can guarantee a flat hit on the majestic bazooka will also get a guaranteed stagger hit on most builds for frame parts we could switch the head to something superior like the vero head although you know for style points we gotta stick with the original raven head indubitably but the only real important change besides just you know basic stats is the bastio arms for an even more melee spec to get even more naughtier damage out of the pile bunker not overly necessary but it does allow us to use its normal hit rather than just the charge for even more damage for inner parts we're going with the alula booster for its superior stats it has amazing assault boost speed not the great not the greatest consumption really but the assault boost itself the speed is nuts for fcs going with ocellus the max close range assists as we are going to need to play pretty close to land the pile bunker as a stagger punish and for generator the hakushi for its weight and stats and then, of course, lastly, Assault Armor. And with our new assortment of parts, we are reaching much, much better stats. More durability and speed. Alrighty, and for the play style, very similar to the last build, although now we can use our Javelin Beta at a much uh, closer range with more consistency. Break Stagger, and then go for the Pile Bunker. As well as we can fire off the Javelin Beta, get some shots up with the Harris, and then go for the Charge Attack for a guaranteed Stagger Break. Dodge into the Pile Bunker, and boom. As well as a Bazooka into the charge Harris is also a guaranteed stagger break. Alrighty, and that is the original Raven and now my Reforged variant. All that is left is a PvP test and of course giving this build a new name that uh, corresponds with the uh, original. In the last video, one of you commented a new name for Steel Haze, Steel Haze New Dawn, which is very nice play on words from Ortis meaning sunrise and from sunrise to a new dawn indeed. So if any of you have name suggestions, feel free to leave them in a comment below for sure. But yes, I got my friend Shattered on to help with the PvP test. He will be piloting the uh, original Raven. He helps a lot with the Requiem series where I upgraded player builds. So yeah, big ups to him. His comics will be linked in the description. Please do check them out. Very cool lad indeed. But yes, enjoy the fights. It's just be faster. <laughs> It'll be for the crowd most of the time anyway. <laughs> Indubitably. Uh, That's my only real complaint with a game for like heavy bipeds. There's like no real point to running them. Yeah, other than the ability just to hover and then fly up more can uh, like conveniently. Yeah, but even then, like your ability is so impaired. Like at that point, you might as well go on full on bonk for turn take legs. Yeah, it's definitely in case to be mid. All right, let's get it. Unless you're running a melee. That's true. I, I can just spell you. Out of doing this. this is a poor map. <laughs> this is a pretty cool map. Anyway, I like this map too because it's just fucking stupid. <laughs> oh, this is literally epic. I thought I had. <laughs> Good god. Ow. Good god. Now! Normal bunk. We love our normal bunks. Bombs? Oh, uh, <laughs> hey, the radio tower. Oh, one last yeah. bolt from the Echoes. That's the reason why I lose any of these, just because I've never used 6 before. <laughs> <laughs> you do be using those oh, unoptimal bills. Yeah, that too. That's probably also half of it. Ow. Show whoop! They're good. Like I'm so used to having way more. Uh, Thought about food. my hair the entire time I spam the trigger. Good, good. Damn. Okay. Oh. <laughs> That's too far. <laughs> we both had a bit of a whiff. Indeed. Oh no! Oh 
Rashid. You traded that? Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> we both poked each other with the normal hit. <laughs> Great minds. Uh, I'll save you. All the map. That was epic. <laughs> <laughs> I just you. barely saw you at the end. You just fucking <laughs> fell in my point of view. Like, Alrighty, and that is it for this Reforged video. I hope y'all enjoyed. I'll be making a community post later after this video where y'all can vote for the next preset build to be Reforged indeed. All this said, y'all have yourselves a very good one. I appreciate y'all, and have a good one. Peace.